feel good to be back out there. Yeah, it's real good. It's been it's been a while, and it feels real good to get out there and actually play. I know there was you had really wanted to come back last season. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a point where you thought you were close? Um, by the end of the season, I was moving around pretty well, but it, I don't think I was in playing shape by the end of the season. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. But you know, take your time. Be be smart with it. You actually played a, you played a lot of football in your career, but what were you maybe able to take away from last year when you weren't able to be on the field? More the mental reps, I'm sure. Last year, it was a lot of maturing because there was it wasn't out there, it wasn't me on the field, and I had to sit back and watch. And I really got to experience, you know, the full O line because so I was watching film and going through meetings and stuff like that. So that way, I could learn the guard, learn the center position, kind of help those guys out when they were at questions and there wasn't someone available. I could step in and help people out. You've had a couple. You've had a couple lower body injuries back to back now. I think. Coaches have talked about how much stronger your upper body's gotten. How much work have you done on your upper body in that time? <laughs> well, through the hip and then the leg, the rehab, I had had a pretty solid chunk there where I was just hitting upper body, and it, it's been really good for me because that was the point I struggled in, especially early in my career. And now I'm <coughs> on par, just a little bit ahead of some other guys, and it, it feels really good, and I feel a lot more solid. Were you, playing. Were you at weight-wise compared to where you were before the injury? Um, I was probably... I was sitting around just under 300 right now. I'm right at 300, but it's it's a very different weight right now. I've had time to like trim down a little bit and build the muscle up the right way instead of just throwing on weight like I was as a younger guy, just trying to get get a little more heft. So yeah. when did you get the cast off and all that stuff? I don't really remember dates or anything like okay. that, but it was I think it was right around the two month mark. Okay. You what? mentioned that you were in the film room a lot last year. What was it like to kind of watch the development of that offensive line and how it kind of made, it took shape with some walk ons last yeah. year? Yeah, well, there was a lot, like I said, a lot of young guys, some walk ons, and then just there wasn't much playing time up there. So just watching them week to week, I mean, there was tremendous experience er, and improvement going through the week. They were probably the most improved O line from day one to the last day, I'll, I'll take it back, they were the most improved. So it was really good to see those guys grow and really learn to work together. And that was that was nice. Was that more impressive about Coach Manning and what he was able to do in his oh, first year? Yeah, it was great to sit back and watch him coach. And just, I learned a lot about him, a lot, a lot about his coaching style. And I think it works really well, especially we've got a lot of young guys this year playing too. So it, it'll work real well. Which tackle spot are you playing more of? I know, I think the first practice we saw you at right tackle yep. some, but is that where you're playing most? Of I'm at the right tackle spot right now, yep. Okay. Were you able to absorb some technique lessons even though you weren't able to get reps last season? Oh, for sure. Sitting back and learning, especially from the other guys, because he's out there coaching, and all I have to do is sit there and listen. So um, I picked up a lot of technique, especially to be, and then going to be able to coach it with the younger guys, that's that's a huge step. Because once you can coach something, you really start to understand it. You've what played are your early. individual expectations for this season? Yeah, you know, I plan to go out there and you know, play the best I can, and I'm definitely playing my best football right now. So I'm really looking to... Mixed strides. How do you how do you know you're playing your best football? What kind of dictates or shows you that that you are? Well, I, I want to be a leader out there. As a young guy, I was always just trying to keep up. So I want to be the guy that's out there and is our most consistent player, and that people look to to ask questions. Or if they're if we're like in a rough spot, they'll like look at me and be the one to be able to calm everyone down. And you, be that consistent player. You kind of got thrown into the fire, so to speak, early in your career. You were playing against you know all Big Twelve guys right away. What do you see in Sean Foster as a young guy that's maybe in a similar situation as you? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of the same, um, but he's doing really well. He's just, it takes a lot of time to mentally prepare for that, and he's he's doing really well keeping up with the playbook, things like that. So he just has to mature a little bit physically. I think he's really doing that in the summer off season to, to really help him get there, and uh, he's doing he's doing a lot of good things out there. What do you see from Julian Ben Jones? He was a guy that kind of he played center last spring and kind of moved around in different parts of the offensive line. What did you maybe see in his growth and where he is now? Well, Ju Julian's one of our like most pure athletes on the O line. He can move. He can play a lot of different positions. Last year, he was the tackle spot did a great job for us. He was underweight. He was undersized, kind of like I was that first year. So he was he was in there scrapping, and now he's moved inside to that center position. And I think his time outside really helped him understand defensive schemes and what we were doing as an O line. So he's really become a lot more. More intelligent player. How much have you changed and grown since that first season when you know when you were actually playing that your red shirt season? Uh, well, well, that's gone. I basically gone from trying to survive and just get get through games to now. I feel like I'm in control and I, I should be the one leading the line and I should be the one like keeping people up. And it, it's just been a big change. It's gone from a, again that trying to survive to more of a leadership role and being that most consistent guy. Have things slowed down more? Yeah, significantly. Right now, I'm actually struggling. I'm, I'm hitting 
I'm going too fast on some plays where I need to like bring myself back down. I, I know and I just have to trust my body to do it because I'm doing I'm just doing too much. So it's it's kind of transitioning to a whole different version of learning. When did you feel that transition kind of happening? Well, I was I was out the last season in spring ball, so I I haven't been on a field in a year. So going out there in fall camp, I had a couple of days and it, it started to click there. But now really starting this spring, it's it's basically I've got a whole new body I'm working with, so I'm trying to just learn myself and learn learn what to do. Does it feel you haven't played a game in the Campbell system yet? But what's the role of an offensive? Is it, is it, in this system, is it any different than what you've played with in the past? Well, I, I think the O line's pretty similar across the board. The, the role of it is to go out there and it's to set a physical tone for everyone. And it's you establish the run game right away. And once once you get that going, it opens opens up other lanes. So yeah. you guys have had a couple spots up for grabs. How competitive is it for those spots? No, oh, it, it's inside. very competitive. We got a lot of guys out there that can play, and a lot of guys that are showing some really good things right now. And different people have strengths and weaknesses, so it's it's been a real good thing. And people are working together, you know, helping each other with their strengths and against their weaknesses. So it's been a real bonding experience for them. As much as different as that sounds, they're competing, but they're also helping each other out and move forward. It's a little weird knowing that they're competing for spots, and you know, you have two graduate transfers coming too. Well, I think, um, especially here at Iowa State, we've always had like we've had a bunch of injuries throughout the last few seasons, and we've had a lot of competition. So I think the guys are pretty used to that right now. And it, there's always going to be competition for spots, especially without people coming back because everyone graduated. So it, it's it's a whole new game, and everyone everyone kind of knew that going in. It's a nouveau 